All this time, I was wondering, since the beginning of Season 1 and Season 2, why is Ichinose in Class B? This seemingly perfect girl must have some kind of defect. It turns out, she's a war criminal! She's shoplifted. Not for any reason, for her little sister's birthday gift, because they're so goddamn poor. This monster deserves to be locked up. But it's alright, because Arisu blows my mind again. She never cared about Ichinose. That trailer season three, where it's like, hmm, you said that. I sorry. She basically said, I don't know, Koji. I said I'd crush you first, but I gotta take care of each no say. I'm like, whoa, plot twist. No, I got fucking baited. It was just to get Koji's attention. And if you think about it, the fact that Koji wasn't aware of this and he kind of got played by Arisu, Arisu kind of got a quick one on us, right? I think it's fair to say that Koji was not aware of Arisu's true intentions and she kind of won this little skirmish there, which kind of feels bad, but at the same time, we did get to get a little bit other information. For example, Kushida. This bitch, she gets 50% of her cut now because that's how valuable her informant skills are. And I, we keep going back and forth on like, are we going to keep her around? Or are we not going to keep her around? Christmas Eve season two with Ryuan's little date. I don't know, Koji said that we're going to go to class 1C at the final term of first year, but drop back down to class D because we're going to expel Kushida. He even reaffirms this at the end by himself in the monologue when he's talking to Kushida. So is that ever going to happen? I'm not really sure, but let's begin today's reaction. Quote of the day. It is better to receive an injury than to inflict one. No! I... Okay, maybe this is objectively correct. Maybe if you're a good person, you know, taking the hit and not inflicting pain on others is a good thing to do. But I'm a piece of shit. I am a pity, petty little demon. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You inflict damage on me, I will return that tenfold. Fuck you. But the best course of action is no injury on anybody. Oh? Chabashira? Chabashira? Yeah, my god. <laughs> we all passed! Everyone's like, oh my god! The first one to like scream in excitement there was Ike, because he's like, oh my god, I can have more points, please, I'm starving. <laughs> Koji and Susan. She never has a different face, son. It's just a resting bitch face every time. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Yamauchi. He can't. He probably fucking last place, dude. He fucking probably got the worst score. Iki had the lowest score. Never mind. Wait. How are we back to normal like this? Straight up, like two episodes ago, we were fighting a lot. And Hirata's smile here with his closed eyes is kind of suspicious. It's kind of scaring me, actually. But... What's going on? I thought we were fighting. You could try to even raise a fist because Yama got straight up called Shinohara a fucking prostitute, right? We're good? No more drama? You're all idiots. You're the idiot trio. Shut up. However, however. Wait. What's Chabashira be like? For, this, for the first time, no one has ever been expelled. And we need to hit a quota. <laughs> Someone needs to get expelled even though you, the guy, you guys did everything correctly. <laughs> you wouldn't say that, right, Chabashira? What? The school intentionally wants to call people? <laughs> it should be Kushida, right? It should be Kushida if we're still going with Anish Koji's plan. <laughs> Koenji don't give a fuck, my man's chilling. Sorry, fuck, did I just mess up my camera? Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, but Koenji Pro is just like... <laughs> Expulsion? <laughs> Never even thought of it once. <laughs> this guy's too fucking cool, dude. That's so mean. That's actually so mean. Yeah? That's not answering... Oh, okay, it's not... You know, she doesn't really know either. She... It's a special one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you vote on who gets it? Survivor! Oh shit! Voting? Demograph sorry, democracy, you just vote on who dies? Okay. Who is this guy in the top right corner? Have we ever ever seen this character before top right corner chubby blue hair dude with glasses 
you, this is not Hakase. No, Haka, did Hakase get a dyed hair? Did he dye his hair? No way. He's not that. Who the fuck is he? <laughs> NPC. <laughs> See, Hakase is right over here, right behind Hiarata. It's this blue hair. I just keep, like, I just keep finding new characters in this fucking classroom that I've never seen in my life, dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. Enough fucking around. Okay, okay. Three students worthy of praise. Students basically to shit on. So, E.K. Yamauchi and Sudo. <laughs> ah, most positive we got special reward. This is straight up survivor, dude. We got like a, what's it called? An idol, like to kind of protect you. Protect the point. So one basically freebie. It's like an armor. One shot to kind of like get rid of. Okay. Expulsion they've qualified for. Now, I'm not sure what that really means. Does that mean that protection point, it's a single point to counter someone else's point, so one-on-one? -on -one? Or is it the fact that, oh shit, I got expelled, but I used a protection point, I'm cleared now. Is it like an extra life, or is it just an armor of one point? You know what I mean, right? So if we got like two votes casted on us, that protection point will negate it back to one. <laughs> Who's gonna win that? Hirata? Popular guys, right? <laughs> yeah, what happens to them? I hope the last three get put into a fucking coliseum and it's a duel to the death, dude, to see who gets expelled. <laughs> I want fights, dude. I want action. Okay. And then, single top and bottom. Hmm. It can't end until one person gets expelled. Someone has... Like, they just have to do it? Like, the school's like, it doesn't matter if you prove yourself. It's like, no. There's a quota. This is straight up fucking Amazon. I'm not sure if you guys are software engineers or you know about development, but in Amazon, the company, basically, there's a quota to meet. Like, bottom 10% gets cut no matter what. So, the best thing to do if you get into Amazon is to get into a shitty team. Because if you get into a good team, and if you're actually competent, you, you might be still ranked at the bottom. So, you get fucked. It doesn't matter how good you still do. It's relative to other people. So, you want to get into a shitty group and still be kind of mid, but, you know, be better than the top, like, the bottom 10%. You know what I mean? Dun, dun, dun. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna? It can't be a random character we don't know, right? It wouldn't be impactful, like the fucking blue haired dude in the center of the bottom row. Hondo? I don't know. Kushida? Isn't it? Doesn't it make sense that Kushida should be the one to get out? Huh? So can't use it as shield for other people. For sure they will be, yes. This is so cruel, because there is no way out. There is no way of, oh, we can just make a study group and have everyone survive. It's like, no, one dude gotta die. Of course you don't, you dumbass. <laughs> is Yamagod gonna go back to the black room to train more? Is this his time of reckoning? Uh. Damn. So... The class will get penalized. So here's the thing. We do... I wonder how important this expulsion is. Because we know that we can buy back people. But like, this is a special expulsion. Would they allow... Don't spoil me, don't spoil me. But like, it's like... Does anybody even have the points to buy them back in this class, actually? <laughs> do we even have that kind of privilege? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Maybe it wasn't his decision? This guy's too fucking good. <sighs> Hirata is too much of a hero, man. He's too cool. Oh, Suzume? The leader of the girl stands up? Huh, if the votes come out equally. Oh, I didn't think about that. No? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Someone ha someone's got to go out no matter what. In another class? Oh, it's gonna be like four different classes of manipulating here. Holy shit. Anything can be done with private points. So, the 20 million. That's how much it was required to transfer into a class that's never done before. Ain't no way any of these fucks in class 1C right now has any points. Definitely not Yamauchi, man. Hmm. Maybe we could like beg Nagumo, right? We could like be literally get on our fucking knees and beg Nagumo to give us a please, Nagumo, 20 million point loan, please.
<laughs> and if the conditions are right, maybe he'd help out and we owe him a favor, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, someone gonna die. Might be you, yellow god. <laughs> Talk your shit, Shinoda! Shut the fuck up, motherfucker! I ain't no prostitute! Even if you paid me money, I wouldn't go out with you! Dude. Dude. Do you not realize you are the most, like, you are public enemy number one right now? Bro is in the worst possible situation in terms of public image in this class. Everyone fucking hates him because of what he did. He's talking! Okay, wait, wait, we gotta start back, we gotta start back, we gotta start back. The, the mastermind soundtrack started playing. Okay, let's focus. Koenji's talking. No penalty? I love how the cameraman immediately points towards Yamagata and EK as soon as he says, Such is one of your incompetent friends, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, incompetent. No, let's not stay cool. Uh oh, he keeps falling for it. Uh oh. We can't unite these idiots. <sighs> the class is in disarray. All order is fucking gone, dude. Is that Koenji's fault? I mean, no, I think it's, it's a lot of people's fault. I think Koenji was just talking shit. I think it's rightfully deserved. I, 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 I'm all for Koenji talking shit, though. Oh, Suzune, that's right. Tell your dog to shut up. You know what? That scene there from Suzune was actually goaded. She immediately diffused the situation by telling her dog to shut up. This is really cool to see Suzune assume the position of leadership without really antagonizing people as much before. You know what I mean? Someone has to get expired. I'm sorry, expelled. Multiple votes not allowed. Votes for myself not allowed. Chabashira looks at Anakoji at the very end and says, You got it? Anakoji just looks away. I know you're looking at me, Sensei. Stop. Our study group! Yeah, we have to. People are gonna coordinate as group. That's what happens to Survivor, too. But is it good enough? Really? Well, if it's the light novel Anakoji, maybe, but the anime Anakoji makes it feel like he doesn't give a fuck about any of these kids. Especially not Sakura. <laughs> oh, this is the Manabu theme. Why are you saying you're in dream right now? Dragon Boy, where you at? <gasps> Wait, what book, what book was he reading? Dragon Boy reads a book? What is he reading? Discourse on the Decadence Ango Sakaguchi. That's way too big for me. I don't know what that means. <gasps> our, our, our long lost girlfriend that we've ignored all the season. Ryun finally getting back and Anakoji gonna give him some attention? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That is an insane cleavage to be showing, bro. That is insane. The amount. Oh my god, dude. The fucking mountains are out. No response. Probably nothing. Bro just laying down, just playing like he's dead. So, no. 
Would they in his own class for abusing them? Maybe there are a bunch of people like that, but I'm just looking from the sentiments from Ibuki at the end of season two, where she was like pretty sad that Ryun was going to leave. It's like, come on, you're the leader, remember? I wonder if the other kids think about that. Definitely not that one girl, Manabe. Remember Manabe? He's like, Manabe, bitch, it was you, right? Just fucking dunked her head on the desk. She probably might vote for Ryuan, but who knows? Hmm. But I want you around! I like Ryuin! Suzune herself is saying, You lack the talent that a true leader needs. This fucking girl, dude, she's power tripping. Took her fucking two seasons to get here. She has been doing pretty good, to be fair. She has been. Oh? Uh -huh. Okay. Probably? Nah, I'd win. That's our Dragon Boy! Please come back! What's your plan? Is he back? I don't know. That look there, it was nice though. Cameraman, relax. Cameraman, cameraman, Jesus Christ. Expel Kushida! Huh? Might backfire. <laughs> okay, 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 relax, relax, okay? No one is dying in this show. It's a fucking anime about high school drama and mind games. It's not that easy to kill someone. <laughs> Taking this so fucking seriously. Though. Okay. I wonder if it will. Empty confidence and look at Susanne's face. Boom. She has no poker face. This is why Rian was able to read Susanne like a fucking book in season one and two, dude. She's fucking sucks. Have you killed someone, Rian? Have you? I can kill someone. Do you? The poker face. It's off, right? She, she's way too easy to read. Like, right there. Right there, too. You can't fucking start doing this. Your body language is giving everything away. Oh, it's a real theme. Yo, Manabu! It's getting personal. <laughs> and she's stepping backwards. She has no sense of discreetness. She's just like, oh, empty confidence. She's like, oh, and she's like, Ugh. and she fucking starts walking backwards now. Come on. Yo, grab her hair and sniff it like you used to in season two. Come on, Dragon Boy. <laughs> sniff her hair. Anako is just sitting on the side, just doing nothing. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, maybe he's back, man? Huh. Nah, our boy's making it through. I believe in Dragon Ball. I'm actually rooting for him. Koji? I hope Koji votes for Ryu and for the positive point, because you can refer to a different class, right? Why did he not say anything there? Because, like, the secret's out. We've shown him our piano and calligraphy skills. Like, you know, you don't have to act like an NPC around Ryu anymore. But I miss this. I miss this a lot. You know, there's a lot of scenes in season one and season two where Ryu basically just approaches us out of nowhere. And, you know, Susune and Anakoji's there. And Ryu is just like kind of bullying Susune and kind of poking at her. While I'm trying to see if, you know, Anakoji's going to give a reaction. But this is nice. Rewin's theme started playing again. He's back. Seemingly, he's not just pretending to die. He's got my plan, maybe. The fire is still there. The fire is still there, man. Because of Susan, eh? Oh my god. Oh. Susan doesn't know. I guess not a lot of people do know this shit. Only K, Koenji. Who else? Other than just our class right now, right? Holy shit. Maybe Kushida? I don't know. Shut the fuck up! Dragon Boy's gonna survive. I hope Manabe gets expelled from her class, dude. Oh, that might bounce back. That's not gonna go well, is it? Oh god. 
<laughs> she finally says it as much as I dislike it. You're the only one he has any interest in. <laughs> Manabu and Kyo ship is real, bro. <laughs> wait, 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 I missed that, I missed that, I missed that, I missed that, sorry, I missed that. I suppose if you say so. <laughs> Do something about a bitch. Absolutely, the complex is insane. Okay. My favorite things about the K phone call scenes is when she's in bed and she's just like swinging her legs so she's excited to talk to Ayana Koji. See like this, the leg motion is just, you know, dangling. <laughs> You're gonna make her worry! You gotta protect her! Yeah, the best situation the best thing to do is to just lay low and just kinda act like you don't exist, honestly. Right, they might antagonize her. I want a chance with Hirata. Get her expelled. True, true, true. Is he? You notice him! True, we do have to get rid of somebody. No, we're gonna save you. Yeah. I don't think K is in any danger. Oh wow, this time she hung up on us. That's rare. Who's she waiting for, Anakoji? Nagumo! Oh no, I was waiting for Anakoji, never mind. Wait! That was not a planned meetup. She was straight up just waiting until Anakoji showed up. Oh my god, she did give us the Valentine's chocolate last episode. Look at her blush, dude. Look at her blush. <laughs> she's straight up blushing and panicking about what to talk about, so she's bringing up the weather. Bro, she is down bad for him. You wanna walk together? Yeah, who are they gonna expel in B class? They're also wholesome and nice. Nah. Drop out. That's a situation I never thought about because B class is so nice. Maybe there's someone so wholesome that they'd be willing to intentionally get like drop out or be expelled, you know, if that's allowed. クラスメイトがお前の名前を書くことはないぞ。嘘。おお、ダブルスダブルス。そっか。誰かのために犠牲になるのか。ちょっと違うかな。Give yeah! Give me that shit! No? I guess he might not need it. Worthy. I think Ichinose really wants it. I think Ichinose really wants to give us that point. It's crazy how much he's fallen for him. Holy shit! You traitor! You stole that beer! You lied! You lied to me! How could you deceive me with your thighs? Are you still realizing that I'm going to be super popular with other girls too, maybe? Alright, bye. It is unreasonable. Why'd your dad do this shit? To emulate society, because it's unfair. So, we did talk about how it's very unlikely that Arisa's dad would do this thing. He's recently suspended. For what? So who's a new, who's a new guy? Don't, could you imagine Anakoji's dad's in here now? No. But what about one of his men, though? Like, is it possible? Someone! Some... But is this Vitamin influence? Yeah? Yeah? Huh. Yeah, it does. But here's the thing, like, it shouldn't, it, it's like, the dad should be aware that Anakoji is so competent that a special exam like this would never result in Anakoji getting expelled, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. Papa Koji. I don't trust this bitch.
This bitch lied to me in season 3 trailer. No, I don't trust her. I can't believe anything she says. It is not postponed. Matters within class A. Who would Arisuma get expelled? Katsuragi? Right? Because there's an internal war going on. I guess it would be in her best interest to get Baldi out, huh? Because, I mean, if that's still hap- That sucks for Katsuragi. I don't want him to get expelled. I actually do like Baldi, though. Cap. Don't trust her. Cap. Cap. Don't trust that shit. Okay. Eh, these are just words. These are just words. I don't trust you. Then there won't be any competition. Exactly. And you get away with it. Maybe there will be, man. Baldi. Baldi. No, not Baldi. I don't know what we're going to do. Nah, Ryun's going to live. Dragon Boy's going to make it back. Yeah. That'll be very interesting for B class. <laughs> Greatest enjoyment? Uh. Hmm. Camera? Cameras? 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 Uh, Papa Kochi looking at me? Are we getting spied? What is this? Ah. Uh, hmm. What was that? What was that? Six. Almost 16 mil. Okay, okay. Nagumo. Is that KFC on Nagumo's desk? Is that a bucket of... Right? Is this a fucking KFC ad right now? Nagumo just has a bucket of KFC. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my little plaything. Oh, that ASMR is. Oh, this is going some a different route right now, bro. Fuck. So, like, she has to? She has to do this? So it seems like Nagumo's involvement is basically gonna be the determining factor in who gets expelled in B-Class? What? And that's the episode. Of all the people that I thought didn't need to coerce people and manipulate them to date them, with money at least, I, I didn't think Nagumo would fucking do this. That's kind of slimy behavior from him. It's, it's kind of creepy too. He was like, mm, date me, Honami. It's like, ugh, I don't know, could you please save her? Now, our favorite antagonist, Dragon Boy is back. And he seemingly has lost all the fire until Susan started talking shit. And then Ryuin's theme started playing all over again. And then we saw the fire in his eyes. Bro still there? You know, he's been kind of laying low for the last couple episodes, but Ryuin is finally back. And this is getting really interesting because everybody has to face this unreasonable test, right? Someone has to be expelled. And I thought that, you know, this whole point of the school is to basically, I don't know, fucking make the most sociopathic students that can survive in this cruel society that we call, you know, call society, right? So unreasonable things, unfair things like this, just adapt and learn. I thought that could be the point, but also at the same time, they did mention Sakanagi's dad got suspended. So Anakoji's dad's influence, white room influence, who's in here, right? Just to expel someone, they did this. Kind of makes sense if you think about it, because Papa wants Anakoji back home. But let's get real. Anakoji not going to fucking fail this. It's a pretty lame job for them to try to do this to get him back home. He's not going to fucking get expelled like that. Unless there's something, doing something extra special. Now, they were looking at the cameras here. I don't know why they did a little, you know, pause on the, the street lights, right? There's a delayed pause on the street lights on the camera. So like, are we being watched right now? By who? Papa Koji? I don't know. Here's my guess. Class? Actually, I, it sucks if Baldi gets expelled. I honestly have no idea. I don't want Baldi to get expelled either. In Class B, I have no clue. I uh, Class B, I only know Kanzaki and Ichinose pretty much. Class C, Kushida or Yamauchi is my bet. Yamauchi has been antagonized quite a lot recently. Bro has been talking way too much. It's going to be very interesting to see who's going to get expelled. In Class 1D, I don't think it's going to be Ryuin. Someone else. I'll be really sad if it's Ishizaki, Ibuki, or Albert, though. Because, you know, family. This new arc is getting heated. The drama is getting so good. And, oh, oh who's going to get expelled? We'll find out soon enough. But, hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.